everyone, Money G here, and uh, this is the uh, greatest Royal Rumble results video. I'm going to tell you the results of what happened, what I thought about the show, and how well I did or did not do in my prediction. So here we go, the greatest Royal Rumble results video. <laughs> Overall, it was a okay card, nothing really uh, exciting about that. Again, it's kind of weird that the fact that they decided to put this show about near a, week, a couple weeks or three weeks after WrestleMania, and uh, right now they got to get ready for a backlash. So I don't know how well or how fast they're going to have to promote backlash, which is actually uh, uh, I think this coming weekend, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if I'm wrong, someone correct me about that. But um, like I said, overall, it was a pretty good show. Nothing really exciting happened. Um, uh, the crowd was somewhat into it. Uh, um, if you want to say that, you know, again, uh, they, they, they cheered for some parts. But like I said, it was a pretty good show. No, but nothing really exciting happened. But let's get on with the results. Uh, result, uh, John Cena went on ahead and defeated Triple H, which I predicted, which I figured he would. It was a pretty good match. Both these men have been doing this before. They had some nice spots, uh, in for both of them. The crowd was actually really into this match. I believe this was really the only match they were really into it. Uh, they did the typical, uh, Cena sucks chance, uh, and, uh, you know, did what they normally would do. But John Cena, well, eventually did win the match. Pretty good, nice way to start off the card. Next, uh, Cedric Anderson, uh, he defeated Callisto to retain the Cruiserweight Championship. Uh, a lot of excellent spots, but for some reason the crowd just wasn't into it. I don't know if the people there in Saudi Arabia are not used to Cruiserweights, but both these men did some nice spots. Uh, I believe Callisto did a very dangerous spot where he uh, did the Spanish fly uh, off of the top rope. A very dangerous spot, but uh, it was executed pretty well by both men. Nice, entertaining uh, cruiserweight match, and again, uh, Cedric Alexander uh, retains his title. For the Raw Tag Team titles, uh, Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy defeated the bar of Cesaro and Sheamus to become the new Raw Tag Team titles. Another good, uh, interesting matchup, but just as I predicted, I knew that uh, Bray and Matt Hardy would win the titles since Cesaro and Sheamus are now on SmackDown. So, uh, no surprise here, and so far, I'm actually 3 you know. <laughs> Way to go! <laughs> Next, Jeff Hardy uh, defeated Jinder Mahal to retain the United States Championship. Now, like I said before, I'm not surprised that Jeff won, but I did thought that maybe Jinder Mahal would win the matchup. But since uh, he's now going to Raw and Jeff Hardy's now on SmackDown, so I wasn't surprised that Jeff Hardy did win. And I'm 4 and 0. Oh, wow, I'm batting 1,000. I gotta keep this up. I wonder if I can. Next, uh, for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, the Bludgeon Brothers uh, went on ahead and defeated the Usos. Uh, the Usos did get some offense, but again, the way they have been pushing uh, Harper and Rowan, it was another smash uh, victory for them. They really uh, are just smashing everybody that they uh, come across. I wonder how long they're going to continue with this uh, push that they're giving them, but right now the Bludgeon Brothers, are there's nobody stopping them if they continue with this push. But they retained the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and I'm now 5-0. and oh. <laughs> And the uh, ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship, Seth Rollins defeated uh, Finn Balor, The Miz, and um, Samoa Joe uh, to retain the uh, Intercontinental Championship. And we had some, again, won some nice, decent spots here. Uh, a lot of wrestlers sacrificing themselves. We had... Um, Two people who I believe, Finn Balor and uh, The Miz, do their finishing moves off the top of ladders, which was very dangerous, but excellent spots. And again, the crowd just seemed not to be into it. You know, and again, I'm pretty sure that the WWE is going to have to do something better to get the crowd into it because the wrestlers were doing some good spots, but the fans did not seem to be into it. Now, I understand that I don't know how exposed they are to WWE. You would think that they would be, fans would be into this, but we don't know how wrestling is in that particular part of the country. But, uh, what are you going to do? But, uh, I'm now 6 and 0. Oh. I'm still petting a thousand. Can we make it a, can we make it a complete sweep? We'll see. For the, for the WWE World's Heavyweight Championship, AJ Styles did retain the title, but unfortunately it was a double countout. 
as um, uh, once again Sinuska, uh Sinsuke Nakamura once again gives eight uh, gives AJ Styles a Lobo uh, while they're in the ring. Uh, they both got counted out, so uh, AJ Styles went can retains the title because, as WWE is concerned, you can only lose the title by a um, submission or a pinfall uh, in certain matches. So um, and that's how you could lose the title. So he retains the title. So I don't know what's going to happen. I did pick uh, Nakamura to win this matchup, so I finally lose my first switch with him. But pretty good that I am actually still um, six and one now. No shocker here. The Undertaker defeated Ruskov uh, with Alex Ingus for the casket match. Uh, pretty good matchup. Uh, Ruskov did, did get some offense in, but it was all Undertaker once again. It was nice to see him actually last for uh, about a, almost ten minutes uh, into the matchup. But it was particularly all Undertaker all the way as he buried Rusev in the casket match. And I am now. Um, Seven and one. Pretty good. <laughs> and for the WWE Universal Championship, Brock Lesnar once again retains the title. Uh, he defeated Roman Reigns by escaping the cage. There was some controversy uh, at this match as opposed to how he won. Uh, but I, I had no problem with it. I, I, it was a very brutal matchup. Once again, men doing a lot of good spots. And again, it seems like these fans certainly were not into this matchup. Now, I understand a lot of people do not like Roman Reigns. Uh, I thought for sure he might win the title this time. I don't know what else they're going to do with this matchup right now. But uh, once again, Brock Lesnar is still the WWE Universal Championship. I mean, champion. And of course, uh, the 50-man uh, Royal Rumble matchup was won by Braun Strowman. No, really no surprise there. I did not pick him to win, but I'm not surprised he win. I thought for sure Daniel Bryan was going to win. He actually did pretty good. He was the first entered in, and he was uh, next to last to be eliminated. He was actually eliminated by Big Cass. Uh, he returned last night. Uh, he returned during this event, and then eventually uh, Braun Strowman eliminated Big Cass to win the 50-man Battle Royal. I really don't know what what he's they're going to do with him. For winning this title, uh, maybe he might challenge uh, Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. I don't know what they're going to do. But, uh, yeah, but uh, Braun Strowman wins the 50-man uh, over-the-top battle royal. And uh, I must say, I actually did pretty good predicting this matchup. Uh, it, was not, uh, it was a pretty easy card to predict. Like I said, overall, it was a pretty good show. felt more like a uh, house show. I know the people have said the same thing. I know uh, Doc... <laughs> Did not like this card at all. <laughs> he uh, put a video up about uh, the results and he, he uh, ranted about uh, the card itself. Uh, I'm actually going to leave a link in the description for his uh, rant in the description box. You can take a look at that. Uh, I know, Doc. But what are you going to do? I mean, it's like they uh, put this in between WrestleMania and Backlash. I think if they want to do this, and I understand they signed a 10 year uh, contract. Uh, to do matches here in Saudi Arabia. Well, if they're going to do this, they should at least eliminate one of their pay-per-views and put this on, uh, on one of their pay-per-views so that way they can better prepare for it and not have it stuck in between the main one of their biggest shows, WrestleMania, and uh, uh, another show, which is Backlash. I think the uh, bit, bit more than they could shoot in, in, in trying to prevent, uh, trying to book this uh, event, which I understand because it's their first time there, uh, reaching a new audience there. I don't know how, I don't know how the fans like wrestling or if that's one of they enjoy it. But obviously they did a pretty good job promoting it. But the fans there just did not get the excitement that we normally see in uh, fans throughout the country. So that's my uh, video for the uh, greatest Royal Rumble uh, results. I actually did pretty good for my second uh, prediction uh, video. Uh, I don't know how Doc or uh, Danny Nightmare did on theirs. I'm pretty sure they'll post them up and see who won their little challenge. And I don't know what everyone else did. But uh, hopefully next time, uh, they, now that they finally got their foot in this, they'll be better prepared. And maybe next maybe next year, they actually will allow the women to uh, compete on this show. Now, again, I just like I said before, you have to understand this is their country. This is their rules. The women have very little rights in this country due to the culture and the, and the religion that they have there. So maybe next year they might decide to go on ahead and, hey, let the women compete and women will be on the show. 
So that's my video for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and please like and share. Uh, hopefully, uh, and then I'll see you guys next time when I do my next video, which will probably be uh, Trimmers, my review of Trimmers, A Cold Day in Hell. I'll probably be my next video up. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Peace.